Hey guys, Pat McNamara here talking about vehicle awareness preparedness. Now, your vehicle is your EDC. It's your everyday car. It's your limo. My rule is in the driveway, backed in, and should never be below three quarters of a tank. That's driveway rule for me. Additionally, you need to think about what you're going into your car with and what you might need to exit with. You never want to relinquish an opportunity to be Batman. You should have things in your vehicle that could help you out of a bad situation or somebody else. There's been several times when I've been first responder on a scene. If you are on a scene of an accident or something like that, you are first responder and you should be able to assist. So take a walk with me here and we'll talk about some of the things. Now my list of things may differ from yours. It's just food for thought, that's all. So underneath the far seat, I've got medical gear. I carry a go bag and we'll talk about this in a second. Depending on the situation, I'm gonna have an AR with me. I've got an extra Kevlar tow rope, but I have a, uh, another 5K over there. I have a, a go assault bag with me, bullets, ears, eyes, water, a safety vest that says security on it because you wanna distinguish yourself from others. Remember these things, these are virtually an anachronism, but I've got my state and the adjoining states. We can't always rely on technology to navigate with, so we have to have some maps with us. It's a good idea to travel with a power station. This is a cheapie, but I've used it several times, never for me, always for somebody else, either jumping them or helping inflate their tire because this has a compressor on it as well. And then a tool kit. It doesn't have to be a good tool kit, but you need a tool kit in your car. Let's talk about this go bag real quick. I'm gonna set it on my tailgate. So think hours, not days. Kid lost in the woods, hunter somewhere out there lost. He's out of communications. Uh, old lady off of a cliff, those kind of things. So not days, but hours. What would you have in this top shelf? Got your med gear. Two is one and one is none, right? One is none and two is one. So redundancy on some things is fine, but we don't need ultra redundancy. So all my first aid is right up in the top and that includes stereo strips and super glue. A couple of the first things that are on the outside, compass and headlamp. So I have hands free light, but I've got extra one in my pocket. Hot, cold, and sharp, right? Think car wreck, hot, cold, sharp. Got to help somebody out. You've got to keep them warm. You've got to hydrate them and hydrate yourself. And this has a filter on it as well. Maybe keep them dry, keep them warm again. Always travel with duct tape. This is fire. In addition to fire, it's also extra readers because I can't see shit without these. So, but this is fire, it's fuse, lighter, fire starter, all that stuff. And then of course you need some kind of lickies and chewies. So I've got some snacks in here. I've got multi-tool. I've got extra batteries. And then I've got cordage, both suspension cord and tubular nylon. Nips, let's say, uh, You've got somebody with a broken femur and you gotta set that thing. Here's one, here's two for you. Here's one for me, bro. <laughs> Bottoms up. Something to write on, something to write with, waterproof. This is signal right here. So I've got a panel, I've got pen flare, mirror, and I've got hunter's tacks. So let's say you're going out into the woods during dusk and by the time you get to your wounded party, it is dark on the way in you put these guys on the back side of the trees and use your torch on the way out so that, you, that way you could identify your route that you came in on. Just good to have stuff. And then additionally, some bug juice and some chem lights. So just a little food for thought. You never want to relinquish an opportunity to be Batman with a small B and you should have items in your vehicle to help you out of a bad situation or somebody else. It's Pat McNamara. Thanks for listening. Rock and roll, baby.